What's up, fight fans? Thank you once again for coming through. Much appreciated. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. All right, let's talk about the big news in the heavyweight division. And for me, it is big, big news, really. Um, Deontay Wilder will defend his WBC heavyweight title against the unbeaten Luis Ortiz. And they will square from the 3rd of March. And that kind of rounds up, I think, the semi-finals um, to probably determine who is the best heavyweight on the planet. Obviously, it looks like Andy Joshua versus Joseph Park is going to be signed any day from now. So that's one semi-final. And then Luis Ortiz, um, Deontay Wilder is the other semi-final. Most people argue those two are the top four heavyweights in the world right now. I mean, let's kind of take away Tyson Fury for a second and, and the likes of Kubrat, Pulev and Povetkin. I, I agree. I think these two are the four best. And, you know, credit to Deontay Wilder, really. Obviously, he was supposed to fight... Luis Ortiz back in when November, Luis Ortiz failed a drugs test, that fight didn't happen. Um, he tried really, really hard, um, really hard really to get the Anthony Joshua fight. He then backed off and I think he backed off obviously because he knew Joshua was going to fight Parker. And I think his representatives, i.e. L. Heyman and the rest of his promotional company, or promotional stable, sorry, have said look, Luis Ortiz is probably the, the next big thing you can get right now. And I think there could be there could be agreement set in place that the winners of these semi-finals, as I speak, fight each other. And I think the world, including me, is probably hoping that's Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, just because that's the big fight, right? That's the super fight. Um, but yeah, big news, Wilder versus Ortiz in March. Um, I, I'm, I'm a critic of Deontay Wilder. And, but it's hard to be a critic of someone that um, has 39 fights and 38 KOs. That's probably that the best knockout record of any heavyweight in the history of history of boxing. Um, there will be critics that say he's not fought anyone and granted he hasn't fought anyone. But you know what? Us as boxing fans, we never really know what goes on behind the scenes. And I think that's been proven. I mean, I sat down with Barry Hearn. I've sat down with Eddie Hearn. I've sat down with Frank Warren. And the stuff that goes on behind the scenes that we're just not privy to. So do I think Deontay Wilder is scared that he can't get the fights against the the top 10 fighters, absolutely not. Remember, he was supposed to fight Povetkin. He was supposed to fight him in Russia. Povetkin failed a drug test. He was supposed to fight Luis Ortiz in November. Ortiz failed a drug test. So that would have been two guys comfortably in the top 10 that he, he wanted to fight. So I'm going to kind of lay off him for a second. Let's see how he does against Luis Ortiz, who I think is a very good fighter. Um, and let's see what happens. But for now, fantastic news. Ortiz, Wilder. Set to battle it out in March. I pray to God that nothing happens in terms of Varda getting involved here or, or someone getting injured. Because I really want the heavyweight division to... I don't know. I, I just think the heavyweight division needs Wilder versus Joshua. There's not been a super fight in the heavyweight division for years. I know people might say Joshua Klitschko, but that wasn't a super fight. This will be a super fight. If Wilder Joshua gets made, if both of them can get through their tough fights, and they both are tough fights... We have something special set for September next year or September this year. But what do you guys make of it? Wilder, Ortiz, who wins? Believe it or not, I, I favour Ortiz. I really do. Um, but look, Wilder's got that that punch and that punch can put anyone to sleep. Um, like I said, 39 fights, 38 KOs. That's just, that, that's, that's, that's a ridiculous record. Uh, he's still young as well. Wilder is 32. Um, but I've seen him hurt. Or I've seen him be caused trouble by guys that I don't think are that great. And look, I'm not trying to say Ortiz is a great, but I think Ortiz has enough to cause him problems. Will it be enough on the night? Who knows? But nonetheless, it's been done. It's been made. I think it's been signed, sealed and delivered. And I can't wait.